And it's a very t it's a very unique team, I would say, in terms of the way he's got Roberto Firmino starting as well, which I believe it could be the first person we've seen throughout yesterday and today. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, foot freeze Firmino in the squad for Tom. I know he's a fan favourite of the Brazilian centre midfielder. It is going to be Unsal from left to right in the red. Hashtag Tom from right to left in that hashtag United kit. Early indications, Unsal getting us underway and certainly keeping hold of the ball as well. I have a question for you, Rich, as well, since you, you brought the question up for me. Who would you say that you prefer? Or who do you think is going to end up winning this leg or this game? Sorry. Well, the, my prediction on the game? Yeah. I'll stall like any good commentator will and just... <laughs> um, I think it's a, it's a very tough one to call because if Tom plays to his best ability, I don't really see anybody in Europe beating him. But is he going to play to the best of his ability? Because he has had off days. We've seen it in the past. He's had incredible day one, day two of tournaments, day three, maybe being off the pace. He's very much a mental player, is Tom. If he's in the right mindset, he is impeccable. Definitely. I find it, it's, it's really, for me, this is a toss-up. I know a lot of people have been saying they, they fancy Tom in this, but I know Unsal is an incredible player. I've seen it firsthand. Chance here for Tom. Roberto Firmino at the near post. Great save. That was a Probably massive, massive chance. It was a, yeah. Oh, fantastic chance there. I feel like for me, um, was it Firmino? He let the ball run across his body a little bit too far before he took the shot. Gave Edison a bit more hope to save it. And he should technically be 1-0 up. It was a, a guilt-edge opportunity. But he'll take positives. It's 12 minutes in and he's already had uh, a fantastic goal-scoring chance. At the other end, Unsau. Maybe getting a little bit of confidence off that goalkeeper save. As crazy it might sound, but in his own head, he's probably thinking, I should be 1-0 down right now. But I'm still at 0-0. Things are going my way in the opening 15 minutes. Certainly looking to play through the thirds is Unsal. A nice slow possession to his play. Pele on the edge. Looking for Ronaldo. We talked about that bridge. He's just bullied him onto the floor. Get Jeez. off of me. My name is Ronaldo. Oh, my goodness. The strength there from Ronaldo. I think that was a reverse elastico. We see the T-Rex celebration as well. Oh, my goodness. I feel like Tom oh, It's a bit unfortunate there. Maybe he could have got the tackle and you don't know if he pressed it or not. But in some cases, you say it is very fortunate to get the chance in. But it was a well-worked attack. It was very calm. It was methodical. He waited to find a chance. And he'd done the bridge as well. So he's, he was used to. He was using the majority of the meta to create that chance there. And it's 1-0 to Unsar. Yeah, very surprising goal right there. Ronaldo throwing his opponent onto the floor. But just as I was saying, I have seen Unsar up close and personal. I had the opportunity to play I'm actually in the same... We're in the same VFL team right now. Shout out VFL <laughs> wow. Athletic Bilbao. He's my striker. Bundled <laughs> us out. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Chance there for Tom. Look for the driven pass. But no real precision on it. He's gave the ball away a couple of times though, Unsal, in the yeah. defensive third. I think that's nerves, potentially, Ryan, playing a factor? I would say... I would say so, definitely, because it's twice now, as you mentioned, in the, from the build-up play from the back, he's given the ball away. And for Tom, that would give him a huge boost of confidence. We see that's a... Oh, I thought he was going to play the ball. And he's still got the ball, though, with R9. And it's just to Edison. But that's good build-up play from Tom. He's very calm in the box. I like the skill cancelling with the La Croqueta and the McGeady spin that he's been using so far in the first 25 minutes. Yeah, the use of the step-overs being completely nullified from his arsenal, you sort of have to make more skill moves matter if that makes sense and you saw the skill cancel he's, all, uh, he's also a big fan Tom of the drag back fake which is arguably one of the silkiest skill moves in FIFA Roberto Firmino all the way across to Ronaldo gets down the byline referee potentially could give a penalty there Varane just shepherding Ronaldo out of play and he's very persistent on Sal and playing these short goalkeeper kicks and trying to play it through the thirds instead of electing to go long. Playing out of the back is something I, I do respect as well. Shows that he's composed and he trusts the process on, on the way he builds up. But again, he just gave away the ball there. A bit of sloppy, um, sloppy um, possession play there from him. 
But Tom, he's doing very, very well in sort of baiting his opponent into one side because he has so many options going forward. You don't know whether to press him. Do you mark the run from CR7 in the box? Or oh, sorry, Mbappe in the box there. Or do you, do you watch a run from Rashford on the wing or the other player who's on the wing as well? There's so many players there who you have to be wary of and it's been working. But he's knocking at the door. So he'll perhaps be confident to, to hope that he gets a chance. Firmino heavily involved in all of these attacks. The Liverpoolian. Mbappe now inside the box looking for the shot across goal. No real build-up play needed in that one. R9 Ronaldo now in front of goal. Another block on the line. It's already getting a little bit scrappy at the back for Unsal. It's a very risky way of playing right now in regards to one of these chances will fall for Tom. Exactly. He's knocking at the door, as I mentioned. And Unsal's doing well in the sense that He's trusting the way he's used to playing. But the way Tom's playing as well, he, as I mentioned, there's so many chances he's had. He might not necessarily have a goal so far. And unsal has got a goal on the run of things. Or the, I guess it's a very difficult one to say, but Unsal needs to sort of get a grip of the game, which he's doing now. You're seeing he's keeping possession. He's being a bit more disciplined because there's only five minutes left of the half and you don't want to give away needless possession and concede just on the edge, which he's just done in terms of giving away <laughs> possession. Talk about curse of the commentator. It doesn't want to give yeah. away the possession. Roberto Firmino into Patrick Vieira. Looking to drive forward for hashtag Tom. Plenty of space in front of him as well. Now into Marcus Rashford. Wanting to find the ball into either Mbappe or R9. It is Mbappe oh. just on the stroke of half time. We talked about the lack of possession and the needlessness of giving the ball away. That unsell was doing and the frequency of the possession loss and Tom made him pay. Goal was coming. Fantastic finish from Mbappe. I like the quick snappy passes in the box there, catching Unsal off guard and it all came from the loss of possession in midfield where I mentioned keeping possession is so key at the latter stages of each half because you don't want to give away goal there just because it sort of pushes the momentum over to Tom when you see from the stats there 60% possession five shots five on target compared to Unsal's one shot one on target so it's been sort of one-sided irrespective of the scoreline but I'd say Tom has definitely been in control. And it's play Tom playing a 4-4-2 second variation at half-time. Get your thoughts on that in a second. But as you can see, half-time, one apiece in your winner's bracket grand final. A 4-4-2 second variation. He was typically a 4-2-3-1 player, Tom, last year. Now going into the 4-4-2 with the two CDMs. Is that a, a natural progression of formation, would you say, Ryan? It's a difficult one. I used to use that formation at the start of the year as well. I loved it, in all honesty. But there was sometimes a bit of an issue in terms of transitioning from defence to attack. You have fantastic support with the, the CDMs just ahead of the back line in terms of defending. However, going forward, it felt like I lacked that person to sort of bridge the gap between midfield and attack, if that makes any sense. And I found that the normal 4-4-2 was a little bit better at doing that. Just because the CDMs, of course, are centre midfielders, they push higher up the pitch. They're able to contribute a little bit more. But it still works. It's, it's based on whatever formation works for you, works for you. We saw with JRE using 4 3 2 1. Some players use 4 triple 2. Done in yesterday, 5 3 2. So, whatever works for each individual is, is what they're going to stick with. Play lock off the ball there for Kylian Mbappe. I think just echoing your sentiment there in regards to the CDMs not getting forward is Tom's very reliant on R9. He's his main yeah. man in the final third. He scores the majority of his goals. If he can get fine with R9, Nine times out of ten, he's winning games. He's winning tournaments. Chance here for Marcus Rashford. Looking for the run of Roberto Firmino. Unsell plays back to the goalkeeper. And Edison keeping calm at the back. Quite a nervous situation there. Very, very calm at the back. It's, it's, it's commendable to say at the least. But Tom is knocking at that door, as I said. And you spoke about Arnai being his key player. He's someone that... He builds his attack around and he waits for the run. He trusts him in front of goal. And who's to say you shouldn't be trusting him? Five-star, five-star, clinical finisher. And it's a difficult one for Unsal. He doesn't have, in fairness to him, he has a great team, of course. But compared to the other competitors, it's definitely weaker, I would say, just because I'm seeing Lozano in the starting eleven. I'm seeing Semedo. Of course, that could be personal preference. Who's to say that it's not just because of that? But I don't know. You're seeing normal Ronaldo as well. So it's a credit to, to him that he's reached the stage as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think it just goes to show how much of a, a natural talent he is in regards to he's not even dropped a game yet in this tournament. Yeah, exactly. He's been winning all these matches with that squad. Chance here for Tom to take the lead in our winner's bracket final. Two-legged affair. If you win this game, 
guaranteed grand final in the bag. Mbappe, space over it up for the Frenchman, who smashes into the bottom left corner. And Tommy's ringing it in, Ryan. Mbappe again with the trademark Tom Hulme celebration. And so it's difficult to defend those ones because you've got this the R9 run triggered as well, which could end up being lofted over your defender. So it's a difficult one. Do you follow the run? Do you press Mbappe? And it goes to show how, how much faith he has in Mbappe to take that shot there and trust him to bury it. And it nestles in the back of the net, giving him the one goal advantage. You would say on the basis of what we've seen so far in 63 minutes of FIFA action, probably deserved Unsell, apart from the one shot that he scored, hasn't created an abundance of chances, but credit to him, he's defended very well. Yeah, exactly. Bruno Fernandes dropping very deep to get onto the ball here. That could be a mistake. Two players colliding with each other. Tom does decide to keep it nice and calm. Ball now played into space for Cristiano Ronaldo. Varane left napping. R9 player look into Roberto Firmino on the edge of the box. Step over is coming out. You know, like to hit that first time with the R9 that he did play a look onto. Cristiano Ronaldo now out wide. Further Mendy with the outstretched back leg. Can't get onto it. Hashtag Tom still with possession. Vieira into Mbappe. R9. The player that he wants on the ball. Varane and Kyle Walker. Just do enough at the back to see out another attack from Tom. I have to credit both players there. Tom in terms of build-up. When he was on the wing there, he played a lot. That's where I want to see the player a lot. He's done fantastically well there. I've seen it prior in other opponents or other players when they use it. It, it seems a bit nonsensical the way and the, the times that they're using it but that there's a perfect example of how it should be used it was unfortunate it didn't lead to a shot at goal but the defending from Unsar there was very calm and composed he could have dived in he could have brought a player out which would give, which would have given an easy chance to Tom but he done well there but as we said 75 minutes have played and it's been I don't know it's very one-sided Unsar has flattered to deceive he hasn't created anything Tom has been very dominant in keeping the ball at the edge of the box just biding his time and I say 2-1 is definitely at least what Tom deserves but Unsal he needs to start pushing forward just pushing the initiative and build up play because it's, it seems very easy for Tom I feel like Roberto Firmino has had so many touches of the ball as well from CDM everything's sort of going through him killing Mbappe scoops oh. it into the left footed strike that is all about trusting the personnel inside the box Ronaldo Cristiano out wide Mbappe is the main man on top and a great finish into the bottom left corner and Bappe is looking like a clinical finisher. We see that it's, it's not even the team of the year version. I believe it's the 91 record breaker and Bappe on his left foot, bearing it into the bottom corner after the scoop. That is a, it's a very risky chance. It's not a, a shot chance where I would say it's a, if I could give it a percentage, that's probably like a 65, 75, 70 percent chance goal. But it, it works out for Tom there, and it's definitely deserved. It's not again, it's not on the run of play. It's been something. It's been coming. The door has been knocked and knocked and knocked, and it's finally been answered to make it three-one. And Unsal's got a, a task to say at the least because he has to start picking up his performances. It's been quite lackluster, I say, specifically from well after he scored his goal, he hasn't really offered anything in the attacking front. Yeah, in the, in the final third, it's actually not even the record break, it's the regular Mbappe that's slotting wow. that in on his left foot. So <laughs> we're all salivating at the thought of the team of the year killing Mbappe. He's just going to hit different. A couple of substitutions brought on for Tom right there. Cuadrado, Tavernier, and also... I think it was Adama Traore. Three fullbacks brought onto the pitch. For hashtag Tom, Vieira on the edge of the box, dispossessed, chance here for Unsal, looks like a four against two potentially, That's, you expect more from Ronaldo. Yeah, that was, uh, he, he was looking for the through ball initially, then Tom managed to switch to his centre back to try and just follow the run, which was something that you have to do, you don't want to leave a through ball, through ball goals are probably the worst thing to concede as a pro, because it feels like it's an easy goal. And giving up easy goals at this level when there's so much prize up for there's so much prize money up for grabs, there's so many points which are vital to achieve playoffs this year. And again, it's, it was just a poor pass and he gave away possession. But he has it now, and I said it at the end of the first half. He doesn't want to give away possession here. I don't want to jinx it because if he gives away possession, it's he's gonna, Tom's going to keep the ball for final attack. He just has to wait. He doesn't have to rush. Just wait until the 90th minute and then try and push an attack from there. 
So we do come into the final few minutes here. Unsell needs a goal in order to spark this series back into life. Cristiano Ronaldo, great dribble on the edge of the box. Gets quite fortunate, but he takes oh his composure goodness. in the final third. Block off the line. He did very well when the ball rebounded back to him. Through so many rounds, and it's both of these players have done it undefeated thus, thus far. So, a huge credit to them. If you are just joining us, joining at the perfect time here in the grand final. Hashtag Tom. 3-1 lead currently coming into the second leg against bundled Unsau winner of this game guarantees himself a grand final spot an opportunity to take home maximum prize winning and maximum global series ranking points the loser of this well they drop down to the losers bracket final where they'll play the winner of Dennis and Hazers Still plenty of FIFA left to be played, Ryan. We've seen remarkable comebacks. We've seen unbelievable turnarounds. However, if the early portion of this second leg is anything to go by, it seems pretty much more of the same. Tom pressing high up the pitch, winning the ball back. And killing Mbappe especially. We talked about R9, but Mbappe seems to be the one. Pulling all the strings. Chance here for Tom. R9 in and around the box. Bruno Fernandes does well defensively. Mbappe has been absolutely lethal and pivotal for Tom's build-up play and just his attack. But I would say the next goal would be very, very important. It's not necessarily going to decide the tie, but if Unsal gets a goal, he will just get a boost in confidence. Just, it, of course, it depends when it comes, but I would say if he can score just any time, basically, just to give him that confidence boost and narrow it just to a one-goal deficit, that would be huge. I think the E Premier League was a huge victory for Tom, not only in regards to prize money and um, just being a winner but the championship mentality that he possesses from that because before that event if you asked him he might have said he were a bit of a, a nearly bad getting to finals um, I remember the game specifically in Atlanta where he lost uh, against Umut he felt like he should have won that game chance here for Pele edge of the box couple of step overs twist the angle Jesus. perfectly Bundled oh. Unsau. And you said the next goal is everything, Ryan. My goodness. That was... It's a difficult one to defend, but what a goal. Because you're worried about him turning on left, on his left foot, sorry, just in case he bridges. But if he turns on the right and releases a shot like that, Pele arrows it into the top corner. And 3-2 is definitely all to play for. And just the motivation that it will give him right now, the momentum... Seriously swinging in Unsal's favour, straight out of the blocks from kickoff as well. You were pressing very high up the pitch. Just echoing the sentiment I was saying earlier that win for Tom, the e Premier League, the championship mentality, the winning mentality. He's a different player now. He's up there with the likes of Tex and Mo Alba and Dull and Mike, winners of major competitions. Exactly. The one person who I'm going to highlight from this where in terms of the winning mentality is Olelito. Now, he didn't qualify for this event, but he still had a fantastic run as well. And he's a top, top player. But oh, this could be a chance here. Oh, oh, oh just wide. You oh, do no. not expect R9 to miss that. But yeah, perfect example. Olelito and Ole Bolly. I think you can put them both yeah, in the same both of those players. Ryan. Yeah, both of those players. At the moment they got that that smell of success and doing well in tournaments. So Olelito, when he won that tournament, he even said to himself... I remember casting over a tournament he'd done. I believe it could have been the summer series which he competed in. And he said the moment he won and lifted that trophy, that was the moment where it clicked, where there is no fear. He backs himself. He has that momentum. He pushes himself now. And he has that winning mentality. He knows what it takes and every moment. And he knows, as I said, what it takes to win. And that's just so key. And we saw, as you mentioned, with Tom, the E Premier League, Razek as well. People always refer to him yep. as the nearly man. He would reach finals every championship Sunday. You would see if you didn't see Razek, something was wrong. Like that guy was there all the time, and it, it took him yeah. a while for him to win his first one. And the moment he's won that, he's he's come on leaps and bounds. Absolutely, I think there's there's a there's a plethora of names that we could go through. Tom cued that pause just about three and a four three or four minutes ago. R9 with the player lock off the ball. He's waiting for the run to be made and he just diverts the path of the Brazilian icon. Kyle Walker does enough, but Kyle Walker's way out of position and there could be a hole at the back. Unsal did well to cover it up. 
He was looking for that through ball as well. Tom Switch last second. I thought he was going to play the through ball there to put, um, I believe, who's his other striker? Is that CR7 in on goal? But it could still be a chance here. Pele, high up the pitch, couple of step overs inside the box. He's looking, searching for a cup for a cutback. And a comeback. Oh and that God. is it. Bundled on sale at the near post. Unbelievable <sighs> patience from Pele. That was remarkable. I'll be honest, I thought he overplayed it. I really did. I'm happy he, for his sake anyway that he didn't play that pass, which was sort of red anyway. It was kind of a bait from Tom. we done well there and narrowed the angle as well. So even if he did take a shot at goal, it would have been blocked by either the goalkeeper or the defender. But you talk about patience, incredible patience there to get the goal. And I'd say it's deserved definitely this leg. He's, as I said, he had to come out and push the initiative to, to try and get a goal. And I said, whoever scores first, they will sort of have that momentum. And it's... Again, 3-3 three, three on a run of things. And South definitely deserves to be back into this game. And there's still a long way to be... There's a long, a lot of time left to be played. You're a good friend of Hashtag Tom, Ryan. You know how sort of his head works. He's going to be thinking back to Arna and Mish right now. The one that flashed wide of the post. Of course, it's, it's very difficult to say because I know how Tom is. His mentality is so strong. Like, it's come on leaps and bounds and it's, it's sort of like there's a chip in his brain. Like, he's not a, a normal person. So, he sort of will black that out of his mind. He works with a, a, a mental coach as well and they know how the importance is you, couldn't, you shouldn't focus on things that are already done because what can you do? It's gone. So, he knows you just have to push on and just try and create a chance. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, what a save. The drag back elastico of dreams right there for Hashtag Tom. That would have been the perfect way to <laughs> yeah. retake the lead. It's a skill move combination that he'd learn off text. Yeah, exactly. I was going to mention that. That's Yeah, it's so clean. Yeah, that's something that, that's in his repertoire where he knows that the angles. He's perfect with it, whether it's reverse or the normal elastic goal. He's three, free here with Ronaldo. Edison again with a huge save, tipping it around the post. Bundled Unz out. will be thanking his goalkeeper. Cluster man inside the box, maybe not the player that you want with the ball fizzed into. R9's had a couple of chances now where you just don't expect the goalkeeper to save it. He has, Unsal. and it looks like Unsal's, he's learned his lesson as well from the first half. Last chance the of the game, half. He doesn't. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Ryan, I just played it backwards. Go on. <laughs> no problem, I was saying he learned his lesson <laughs> from the first game. Because you see how we gave away possession in the first game at the end of the half. That one, he, he was running down the wing and he sort of slowed down a little bit. There must have been like a tick in his brain where he thought, all right, I'm not going to push too too hard here because if he gives away the ball there. There's still time for another attack from Tom. But again, 45 minutes left, 3-3. Three, three. On the run of things, Untal definitely deserves to be well to have to be winning this game. Tom did have a couple of chances where on another day they do go in. Edison pulls off fantastic saves, but again, both of these players will be buzzing with confidence for different reasons, and we'll see what happens. We are getting right underway in the second half here of the second leg. Currently tied three apiece. Unsal was trailing three goals to one. Two very quick fire goals. Made by Pele, have got him right back in this winner's bracket final. You might be thinking, what, what does the winner's bracket mean? Well, I'll tell you, they've not lost a series in this entire qualification period. Two weeks ago, qualifiers took place. They were perfect, didn't drop a game. And oh Pele, just span his man, what the finish shot? Not your equal to it. That turn was crazy from Pele. If this game was based on, on or if the, the rivalry between Pele and I and FIFA was based on just this game, it's, it's definitely Pele's winning for sure. When he turned his man then, I thought I was watching Dennis Bergkamp, the way that he just spun away <laughs> from him. Like, unbelievable. Roberto Firmino in the midfield, trying to get things ticking for Tom. Certainly had his foot off the gas, you would say, in this second leg. End of the first leg, it's such a flurry of great attacking play to give him that 3-1 lead. Looking for the slow build-up. R9 linking up with Mbappe, bridge touch into the box. Unsal did well to read it and just stepped off his man. Is that the, the best way to sort of defend the bridge touch? 100%, 100%. Of course, there are some angles where the player could work it around and it's difficult to, to read it. However... 
if it's sort of obvious, not that situation was obvious, but there are situations where you know when you need to back off, just give yourself a yard or two, just to try and intercept it. And when you have the defenders like Kyle Walker, like Varane as well, Kleiber, those centre-backs who have a lot of pace and physical as well, they're able just to, to brush aside the attacker. Pele inside the box. Seems to be Velcro stuck to his boot and the ball right now. Whenever he gets it, no one getting close to him. Neymar looking to turn past Klosterman, but Tom stands strong at the back. 30 minutes left to play. Are we going to extra time and potentially penalties to see who will be making it into the grand final? Mr. Welter steal the ball back. This could be a counter attack. Neymar, ball roll scooped in. Electing to play back into Bruno Fernandes. No, Alan St. Maxim in. Ronaldo, Pele making the run off the ball. Klosterman sticks out a toe and pokes it away. That was a big chance there. Tom done really well there just to try and run back and, and block the passing lane manually. And this, oh, is he in there? He's just offside on nine. But this Ronaldo is very risky though. from Unsal. Cristiano Ronaldo, top of the box, smashing it past the goalkeeper. So much space for CR7, who, unlike his namesake R9, does find the back of the net and finds the top left corner. That offside trap was very odd just because the offside trap was also controlling the left back and moved him out of position. position. So it was very easy. It was an open through ball. And when you put CR7 in on goal like that, there is just no way he's missing. Unsa will feel a little bit hard done by because as you said, he had a great chance up the other end in one counter-attack. That's how quickly the game can change. August Rosemeyer always says it's about the small margins in FIFA Esports. Everyone is fantastic. Everyone knows the mechanics inside and out, but it's the decision-making in the final third, typically, and in the defensive third with mistakes that separate winners and losers. Exactly. Small margins, it's... Again, there are games where it works for you, where uh, you get the rub of the green, you get a little bit lucky. And then there are other games where it goes against you. The key is just to not let it affect your mentality because Tom, as, a, as we know, has a, a stolen mentality where he doesn't let those things affect him. As you mentioned, the R9 chance, some people would be downbeat about it. They'd lower their head. They'll think, oh, that chance has to go in, whatever, and it would affect the rest of their performance. Whereas you just have to sort of brush it aside as hard as that is. And this is a chance here. Let's go, man. Pele! Seemingly like the pitch opened up for him. The through ball from the deep position. It caught us off guard in all yeah. honesty, right? Oh my god. I I don't even know where that space came from. It's like his defenders sort of followed the run from the other attacker. Both centre backs left Pele wide open and with the form Pele's been on for Unsal, this game, that is the worst decision that could have been made. I believe is it a hat trick for Pele in this game alone? It yep. could be a hat trick. Yeah, I mean when you are so confident in your own player, Pele, the space just opened up for him. Clinical in the final third. Doesn't matter if he's got a four-star weak foot because he rifled that in to the bottom left corner. A couple of substitutions coming on right now for both Pelt players. For Toma, you see James Tavernier in at right back. And there's also Juan Cordrado at CDM and Adama Traore at left mid. On the other side of that, I'm not too sure. Uh, Yusuf Atsal, the only substitution brought on for Bruno Fernandes. For Bundle Dunsal. 12 minutes left to play. Will it be a substitution that wins the game? R9 Ronaldo. Ever so prolific for Hashtag Tom. Can he be the saviour? Feeling Mbappe on the edge of the box. Twisting, turning into Vieira now. Plenty of white shirts behind the ball. It's going to create a little bit of frustration for Tom to try and break it down. Vieira into Ronaldo, edge of the box, killing Mbappe. Cal Walker steps out, ball's bouncing around the box. Nobody really making oh, oh, oh. anything of it. And also gets it back under control. It's the sub that makes the tackle as well. Those moments, I promise you, in a game like this, it would be so petrifying for Unsal as well when you're defending it. Just because he's on the edge of those box, he's biding his time, he's being patient. So I'm sure if Unsal coughed, his heart could have came out. That's how much... That is, it's scary. It's so scary, those moments, I tell you. But... Five minutes left to play. If Unsal smart, you just keep the ball. I'll be honest, just keep the ball and just hope for the last attack because that's the best chance. You don't want to go for an attack here. That's not guaranteed. Hold the phone, well, right? Chance here, though. If he wants to go for an attack, he'll win the game. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the guy 
Oh, space. What? Oh, my God. I thought that was it. I thought he had just unpicked the defence of Tom. It was incredible dribbling. And now Tom has the chance to win the game. Juan Quadrado spreading the play out to Adama Traore. Alfonso Davis. Tom, as you just said, playing for the last attack of the game. One added minute. Mbappe has to go forward now. Is there going to be a move? Brewing for hashtag Tom. Oh. Atal gets a foot in and that will take us into oh, extra oh. Wow. time. Ryan, just talk to me because the, the game was moving at breakneck speed. Neymar with that chance. How did that oh. not go in? I'm, I'm stunned, I'll be honest, because... Wow. I, honestly, I have no words for that. Neymar on his left foot. That's a goal. You saw Tom's face as well. He did, wow. If I'm in someone for you, man, I'll be honest, I'm so, I'm so mad. But, again, similar to the Tom's R9 chance, he just has to wipe that from his memory. Like, don't let that defeat... Because you can lose the game based on that mentally, and you don't want to do yeah. that. You're still in for it. There's still 30 minutes to go, potentially penalties as well. He's done fantastically well yeah. to come back. How many times has he come back? So many times now. So I mean, they were 3-1 down. That, but yeah, yeah exactly. scored twice. 4-3, got back into the game. Like It's been incredible resiliency from Unsal. He's never said yeah. no. He's always been in the game. He's always been chasing the game. And he had the chance to win the game. Last kick of it with Neymar. Somehow put it past the post. Into extra time we go. 30 additional minutes. It's going to be hashtag Tom. Kicking from left to right. Bundled Unsal from right to left. I have to say, Atal's already made three key interceptions or tackles already since he's been substituted on. That's going to be a throw on to hashtag Tom as well. Could have gone either way there. Couldn't really see. But yeah, that, I'm still stunned. I'll be honest, Rich. That chance from Neymar, <laughs> that is, that's crazy to me. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of those where you press circle and you expect the net to... to to Russell, you expect to be running away during the T Rex celebration. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it going to be the dreaded penalty kicks or will there be a winner? Will it be heartbreak for one of these two players? Important to say as well, Bundle Duns are only 17 years old. So, the, wow. The resiliency to not only be in the game still, but to come back in arguably one of your first events is unbelievable I think that also with the team difference I'm not trying to harp on too much about the team difference but that shows also how skilled he really is yeah massive massive phrase there for him as I mentioned the team of course it's not a bad team that's not what we're saying but it's, it's just not on the level of, of the other competitors and it's, he's still going to have confidence in that as you mentioned he's come back twice he's performed fantastically well and at 17 he's, he showed great maturity Tom trying to take the sting out of Unsal's attack right now, but everything seems to be falling the Swedes way. Yusuf Hattel driving on from midfield. He's got bags of pace. Planning to Patrick Vieira. Let's get dispossessed, and Tom potentially with a chance just before half time of extra time. The referee playing one additional minute. Spreading the ball out wide to Adama Traore. Looking to get past Semedo, but the Portuguese fullback does well. It's going to rebound into space for our nine. Vieira, dispossessed oh. off the ball. Find its way back to Edison. What's he <gasps> doing? Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my oh gosh. Goodness. I genuinely thought <laughs> he just booted the ball off of his striker into the back of the net. That is crazy he's, he's powered up the the clearance there that could have been oh my god misery compounded in it. just oh god that would have been horrible to concede a goal like that the gate well the half's done you just have to get the ball out and it's pff, edison's taken forever to load up that kick that could have been devastating for unsal oh that would have been heartbreak hotel right there for unsal but he does get away with it edison trying to be the sabotage and the saboteur, but does get away with it after some great saves earlier as well. That would be some story. Second half of extra time underway. Hashtag Tom from right to left in the yellow. Hashtag strip under the south from left to right in the white. 
It's all about keeping your calm right now. Something that me and Ryan are struggling to do in the commentary box. <laughs> But it's scary because there's not long left. And as I said, of course it's not. I wouldn't recommend just keeping the ball. Off the ball but that's Did well, Tom, defensively, just to make sure there was another body in the way. Kosterman had a man of the match performance in this series. Adama Traore, fresh off of the bench. Juan oh, Crojado yeah. with quite a poor pass. Oh, Dreadful pass as well from Mendy after the Atal interception. Vieira into Quadrado, killing Mbappe now. Looking to create that one golden opportunity. Ronaldo, R9, edge of the box, just too many bodies around him. Does win it back with James Tavernier and will come again. R9 Ronaldo into Adama, Quadrado, Mbappe. He's waiting for the overload. Mbappe, Quadrado! Yes, he's just told the goal kick. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh my god! What is that sound doing? Oh my goodness, he almost gave the ball straight to Tom uh, for like almost basically the last kick. He's got two minutes left here to try and just generate one last attack, but wow, there has been some nervy moments in this extra time. Hart skipping a beat right there as he passed it short with Edison. Final chance of this game before penalties will fall to bundled Unsal. Ronaldo eyeing up Kyle Walker. Ronaldo, bridge touch, inside the box. Ball roll, scooped in. It's going to be penalties, Ryan. Oh, my goodness. It's our first penalty shootout across the two days. Both players seem nervous there. But, oh, oh, my God. Quadrado with the first penalty of the shootout for hashtag top. A lot of power on the penalty, smashes it to the right and oh goes through God. the goalkeeper. Yusuf Atal, four bundled, Unsal and slots it to the left. James Tavernier up from the spot, goes the same way again and it's saved. Unsal with an opportunity to take the advantage and does. Two pens to one, Ryan. <laughs> it should be two to zero, I'll be completely honest. Edison there, don't know how he's not saved the first one. And it's a lot of penalty from Adama. Great penalty. That is emphatic from Adama Traore. Pele up to the spot. Three out of three from the spot for Bundled Unsal. R9 has to score it's right gone. now. And oh he doesn't score. Chance for Unsal to win it. Patrick Vieira oh stepping up to the spot. It's and it's saved. 3 2. Tom must score. Kylian Mbappe it's from 12 yards. Oh goes to the goalkeeper again. Unsal, chance to win it. Ideally, not the run up that you want with Neymar. 12 yards out. Unsal, to book his place in front. Come on, man. Come on, man. Score, man. What a <laughs> oh turnaround God. for Bundle Unsal. Wow.